wonder how many people are going to be scared of the thumbnail. I'm very, I'm very curious. And don't worry, Dame is not out for the remainder of the postseason of an injury. He's actually, it came back negative. So it's not a broken bone. So right now, I'm relieved. I really am. So, um, with this game, um, what can I really say? You know, let's just look at the stats. You know, Lillard did get hurt. And, you know, I will admit the Lakers played really well and defensively against him. I will say that. McCollum, come on, man. Gotta do better. Nurk, okay. Melo, this was his worst game in the bubble. Gabriel, all right. White side. Nothing to say. Trent. Meh. Mario. Get out of this team. No, literally, get, get out of here. Dude, don't. I don't want you back on this team next year. Don't you dare come back. Don't you dare. Get out of here. Simons and... Well, yeah. Man, LeBron must have played great. Oh, my... God. LeBron scored 10 on you. You let a man score 10 on you? <laughs> okay, I don't want to hear anyone say, like, LeBron was the reason for this game. You know who the real reason was why the Lakers won this game? Not just because of Anthony Davis or how Caldwell Paul played better than the last game. Man, you got 15 more points. Congratulations. J.R. Smith finally gets some timing. Guzman, I thought, did well. Kind of well. Coming off the bench. Dwight Howard did all right. Anthony Davis just played a monster. This is why the Blazers lost. Look at this. You got basically outbeat. Oh my god. Almost outbeat from every category. Almost. Field goal percentage. Terrible. Three point percentage. Terrible. Free throw. Ugh, man. Too many turnovers. The Lakers just outbeat you in assists and rebounds. This. Oh my god. God, tied with blocks. They had more steals on you. More personal fouls. Okay. You want to know why they lost this game? The shooting was terrible. God for singing defense. And miscommunications. I've seen too many miscommunications in this God for singing game. Ground, wow. It's, it's embarrassing. This was an embarrassing. It's an embarrassing day to be a Blazer fan at this point. I, I mean, look. Did I expect the Blazers to be like win this series? No, I, I don't expect them to win this. I expect this series to be like seven or six right now, but not like a five. The way they played, it's gonna end up being a five game series the Lakers win. That's how this game might end up being if they keep playing this way. And we'll see what will Dane be coming off of an injury coming off of an injury. Now it's a negative, so he's gonna be fine. He'll be a probably he'll be available on Saturday, so it's not too serious of an injury. Dent in looked. I won't lie, I had a heart attack seeing him right there. Well, I I didn't really die, I'm still alive. Didn't go to the hospital. My my heart was pounding fast, and I'm just so glad it's not a serious injury. But the Lakers played just better. I thought they just played pretty well, good defense. And Portland, even when they got their wide open shots, for crying out loud. Just for crying out loud, you gotta make those guys. Grant, now I gotta hear stupid Skip Bayless. I hear him and all that bull crap. I, I swear to God. Okay, now, what do we need to fix on next the next game? Better communication, better handling the ball. And God, get some God-forsaken shots in, guys. Come on. That's the highlight of this game. We played terrible offense overall. And Zach Collins might be out until game four or five. You realize that's their starting power forward. They don't play well with the two-center situation. This ain't like the 60s. Or the 70s or, or, or the 50s or whatever. It's nothing like that. No way. This is nothing like that. The Blazer lineup 
And I know you may say Zach Collins is not an important player like Dame, Nurk, CJ, but yet it helps the big man situation. I know you people are going to say, oh my God, the big man situation is not the main problem. It's their defense. That may be true, but it's the only problem they focus on. And still, if Nurk and Zach were to play, were to play the beginning of the of this season, the Blazers would have been a top five team. But still, though, this is just embarrassing. Defensively, coming off the bench. I mean, overall, you just got embarrassed. That's that is all I have to really say. I mean, just... <sighs> and when the, when the Lakers were wide open, they finally make them. I think Portland didn't think they were going to make those wide open threes. Honestly. When they got open, they made them. It was like the last game, but except for the Lakers know how to shoot. So the series is tied 1-1. The next game will be on Saturday on ABC uh, 5.30 Pacific Northwest time here. And I think at 8.30 East Coast. I, I don't really care right now. I really don't care. Honestly, we just played bad. That's all there is to it. All around basketball. Defense and offense. We ju and bench-wise, we just sucked. That's all there was to say in this game. We just sucked. Nothing much to say. Anthony Davis, I'm not surprised what he got. He's Anthony Davis. Like, maybe if LeBron had, like, almost the same amount of points, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is quite embarrassing. But it's more embarrassing because you had wide open shots, you couldn't make them. You couldn't play good defense enough. You made them get wide open shots. I swear to God. If the Lakers win four straight, which could be a possibility, I'm sorry, three straight, that's, that could be a possibility. This hype was for nothing. Honestly, it frustrates me in a game where, yes, they were playing terrible, all support was terrible, played terrible in game one defensively and offensively, but they still won it. But yet they're, the Lakers guys stepped up. And now they got momentum. You better be prepared for game three. Because you know who I expect the most to get more momentum? LeBron. It's what I'm expecting. Because I think he's averaging right now 16. I mean, he had like, I, I believe, I could be wrong. I don't really know. I think he had like 17 in the first game. I, honestly, I, I don't even care right now what he's averaging right now. But you better be prepared for the next game. AD is going to be AD. You know that. And Whiteside will have to step up more because I still like that matchup. But you better watch out because if LeBron gets in it the next game, you can kiss this series goodbye. You can kiss it goodbye if LeBron steps up the next game. And also, don't wear the red jerseys! Just stop! You hardly win any of those! What's your all-time record with those type of red jerseys since you joined Nike? Well, what, what is it? Like what? Only like four wins? Since you joined Nike with those jerseys, only four wins? God. Red jersey curse. I swear. That's what I'm calling it right now. I just, uh, my God, I just can't. Just, uh. Well, see you all Saturday, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? Me earlier. I don't care. God, what an embarrassing game. God.